we hear a lot about awakening so you know what is it what does it give you why does it matter well the more awake we are the more we get to consciously construct the world we live in the more we get to pursue dreams with integrity um, the more we cultivate a deeper sense of purpose and contribution in the world and it can be felt in your energy field when someone's aligned to their purpose um, they give off that that really inspiring energy that pulls other people in gives other people permission to sort of look at some of their baggage you know look at their shadow and then make changes and start pursuing what they want um, because what I know is when I'm not um, following my heart or I'm not taking action towards my dreams that's when you know the the, the mental terrorist and the the depression and that sort of stuff can seep back in because we're literally imploding on our own creative energy it's trying to get out um, but we are through non-action through resistance we're actually suppressing what's trying to come through us so obviously once you awaken you've expanded consciousness awakening is neuroplasticity 101 and it means that you can see things from a higher level than just you know the conditioning that we've received you know the, the programming that we've received through schooling and television and um, the people we've interacted with throughout our life awakening allows us to see far beyond um, the programming that we've received by in truth a vastly unconscious world so the key once you start to expand consciousness and awaken is to stay awake we want to awaken and then continue to uh, not cause pain and suffering around us so some of the, the obvious examples of going unconscious are things like road rage um, if you know if you're the sort of person that while you're in your car someone driving a bit slow uh, in front of you or someone accidentally forgetting to indicate drives you into madness into insanity then you've gone unconscious quite literally you are polluting uh, your body you pollute the cells in your body and it harms and pollutes all the people around you you know we something like a road rage incident the person goes completely unconscious suddenly they start acting like a maniac doing exactly what the other person did or even worse that caused them to feel that way and then often carry that, that inner hostility and frustration for the whole day you carry it to your friend's place you carry it with you when you see your niece and nephew or the grandkids and literally as I said you're polluting the space around you so once you awaken it's about keeping that balanced state of heart and mind and noticing you know the triggers noticing the things that can pull us back into unconsciousness and back into being part of the problem rather than part of the solution okay so this is something that you've got to look in the mirror and ask yourself you know what makes you go crazy when when do you act like an absolute mad woman or madman um, and did it did it fix anything did it serve any good other than to give the body a chemical fix of these limited emotions a big rush of adrenaline and you know we feel that charge in the body but ultimately has anyone ever reacting and being violent ever fixed a problem the answer is no um, when you push there's an equal and opposite reaction that pushes back at you and we just perpetuate unconsciousness in the world and I mean the actual frustration that stress response anger itself lowers our intelligence it blood just gets pushed into the hindbrain out of the forebrain pushed into the hindbrain to nourish this survival reactionary center and we literally become less intelligent um, when we react so our internal space is our responsibility ultimately and that's what this channel is all about it's what my books are all about it's what the live events are all about the mindset coaching I do we are exposed to pain we go through incredibly tough moments in our lives 
Um, some of us have had in incredibly tough childhoods or marriages falling apart or you know, illness and disease, injury. But ultimately, the past is in the past. And the only power that you have, the only power that I have, is now. It's in the present moment. And it's how we um, take responsibility for this internal space. If you react and move into rage and then cause more unconsciousness in the world, that was something that you did. That wasn't, oh, well, this person did that, so because of them I did this. No, in the awakened state of consciousness, you can see what's happening in the outer world, notice a big charge in your body or a feeling of um, injustice or you know that, that sense of frustration, but you just watch it. You, you can say, there is anger in me. There is frustration. Just be present with it. Right? It can teach you something. But you don't need to be the anger and be frustrated because that's a loss of consciousness. Okay? I am angry and now I'm being violent. That's the next step from not being able to take care of our internal space. And humanity has been trapped and spinning for thousands of years in the action reaction cycle the only way to change your life and the only way to change the world is to change the steps someone pretty famous once said that insanity is doing the same thing over and over again and expecting a different result humanity collectively keeps doing the same thing which may be why a lot of the major spiritual teachers and religions refer to the normal state of human consciousness as dysfunctional, as insane. So it changes steps and then your whole life changes. All right, so that's today's video. Uh, DamienHorton.com, link below to my new book, Limitless Reconnecting with the Infinite Power Within. All adversity can be overcome. All pain can be turned into something beautiful. Um, and I show you step by step the mindset, the techniques, and exactly how you do it. If I've been able to do it in my life, from depression, addiction, critical head injuries, weak in a coma, 40 bits of metal in this face, uh, and breaking my back in six places, crushing my spine, and then coming out and healing my brain and body and creating this life, then obviously anyone can do it. You just gotta have the right tools. So that's why I wrote the book. Um, mindset coaching at damienhorton.com forward slash coaching register for the upcoming workshops if you're interested and damien horton on spotify much love peace